Hey guys, welcome back. It is 2020. You guys blew me away with your enjoyment and kind comments about my last video. I wasn't sure if I'd gone a little over the top or not. You guys seem to enjoy it. Thank you so much for all the comments, whether you left them here on this channel or emailed me. I really appreciated it. I took a lot of time to work on that video and it was fun to bring in some characters. My mom thought that maybe most people would not know that Rory was actually me. Hopefully you guys figured it out. It was a lot of fun and uh, just kind of goofy but I wanted to take a little time today I had some unexpected foot surgery yesterday and so I am laid up on the couch right this moment I'm not I'm taking a minute off the couch I can't stay there all day I'll go bonkers my body needs to move a little so I thought I would take some time today to just talk with you guys about some things that um, I've been thinking about for the new year I always think through what I want to do, especially with my art stuff for the new year. And uh, I've got some good Tylenol in me, so for pain relief, and it's a nice, pretty sunny day out, so I thought I'd set up the camera. And I jotted down some things that Grady and I have been talking about, that I've been thinking about for this new year, and just wanted to share some of those things. So there's some tips in here, some things that maybe you guys want to try in your own sketchbooks. There's some thought processes about the way that I want to approach my art this year that I'm going to do that I've never done before. So let me just jump into it and share with you guys what I've been thinking about. So first off, this week, what we were actually going to be doing was a project that I have had in the works in my mind for three years and we were gonna do it this week and I had the surgery on my foot. So we will still do it, it's just gonna be a little delayed, but we are gonna paint the studio. This blue, I don't know if you can tell, most of this wall is uh, this light blue and it's driving me crazy. I don't like it. I need more, as much light in the small studio as I can get. So this wall back here, there's part of the wall back there that I've painted this kind of real creamy white. And three years ago, I announced Brady that I wanted to paint the studio and we're finally doing it. Uh, it is gonna be a massive project, but hopefully as soon as my foot heals, we will be painting. And I will bring you guys along on this massive project. So that's in the works for early 2020. We were hoping to get that done in the month of January. Maybe we still will, I don't know. Uh, the other thing, I'm gonna be doing something different this year with my sketchbooks. I have landed, as you know, if y'all follow me at all, you know that I'm in love with Stillman and Burn sketchbooks. I have decided which medium I like to use in each of the three different sketchbooks. I want to just stick to that medium for a consistency in my sketchbooks. So Grady got me a whole bunch for Christmas too of this one type, this really smooth paper. I've decided that I like this marker that I always use, my Pigma Sensei, I don't know how you say it, but the big thick kind of tip. And I also like just a regular like ballpoint pen. So one of my sketchbooks, I am, I'm filling up strictly with just ballpoint pen. And another one I am filling up with strictly this big, thick marker kind of thing that y'all see me talk about 50 million times. My other one that has a more painterly kind of paper, I am going to do what I did in my other one and I'm only going to be painting in this one with my flash paint that I love so much. And then I also have this other black small one that's still and burn also, very smooth paper, and I'm only going to be using my Jelly Roll. I think that's the name of the, that kind of pen. I think it'll look nice with the consistency. So that's what I have planned for my sketchbooks. As far as painting, what I've decided this year is to pick a subject and stick with this subject. I, I first thought I would do three months but I've decided I'm gonna just do stick to the whole year because I've already enjoyed just a short amount of time having one subject to focus in on and I wanna see what kinds of things I'll learn from this. So what I've decided is to only paint birds for this year. I'm painting really large too for me. I picked that for over the holidays so I could hopefully get in the studio a little more because the busyness of the holidays keep me out of the studio because not only do I have set up, clean up, but I've also, one of the things that keeps me from coming in here when I'm really busy is just the thing of like, the decisions of what am I gonna paint? Do I set up a still life? Do I do, I do it outside? Is the weather nice? What time do I have? So I thought if I just pick a subject and I have paintings that are in the works, then I just, like that's already out the door. I already know what I'm doing. So I thought I would try that. I've been loving it. And I'm also loving how my skills 
but these things are sharpened really quick. And it has been doing exactly what I was hoping it would do and get me in the studio more. So I'm gonna just go on and commit to it for a full year. The other reason that I thought it would be a great idea is because I wanted to have a body of work and I don't know if it will at the end look concise. Is that the word I'm looking for? Like all together and looks like you know, I don't know. I may like grow so much in my skills with this that the end ones don't look anything like the new ones. I have no idea what's really gonna happen. It's basically an experiment and um, we'll see. But what, I was, what I'm hoping for is at the end of this year to have a body of work of all these birds, which there'll be some like nature stuff in these. I'm throwing in twigs and leaves and grubs and worms and bugs and bees and things like that in them too but those are like secondary to the birds i'm hoping to have this concise oh i really hope that's the right word grace probably gonna say now that you're thinking of this word but anyways you know what i mean this body of work at the end and then i don't know really what i'm going to do with it yet i have decided i'm not going to apply i don't think i'm going to apply to any galleries this year i'm not going to try to worry at all about getting my work in anywhere. I'm just going to work. I'm going to enjoy painting. I'm going to work on this body of work. And that leads me to the next thing. I've been thinking a lot about how can I get in the studio more and not be frustrated with just life. Um, with like the, the daily things of life. I normally enjoy laundry and meal planning and things like that but i find myself frustrated a lot of times because i'm not getting the studio as much as i want i'm like i gotta get the dishes done i gotta get this done all right oh, that's how i feel a lot of the times instead of just like taking my time and enjoying whatever i'm actually doing that's not how i want to live like i'm rushing to try to get to this like this is the end goal because i want to enjoy everything in life and find joy in each of those mundane tasks or really enjoyable tasks so I had been processing a lot and then Grady and I went on a camping trip and we sat down and I was so glad I shared these things with him and processed because he was so helpful and as always so supportive of me. He never treats this like it's just a hobby. Um, he really sees value in the things that in my creative endeavors which I've had many over the years, but my painting is my one true love and what I will always be doing. And what we decided, he suggested, why don't you pick a chunk of the day and that be your studio time. And then the other half of the day can be your time each day to get all the other tasks done, which I thought was brilliant because then um, I can, do both and enjoy it. So I thought through a whole bunch of things from what's the best time of day, lighting, when do I, would I enjoy being in the studio best? And in the studio also means doing these kinds of things. When I'm gonna be filming and doing YouTube uh, creative things, I've, that's part of my creative endeavor too. I decided that the mornings were the quietest. I'm hoping that I can do this. So I've kind of thought 8.30 to noonish will be my studio time and then I can, you know, do all my appointments, whether it's um, coffee dates, whether it's, didn't, you know, like a doctor's appointments, things like that, hair appointment, whatever, all my appointments, I can schedule in the afternoon. I have a couple medical issues, so I'm always dealing with medical devices, a lot of doctor's appointments, just things like that. I'm hoping that I can get in a routine where I can free myself up to just go in the studio and not feel like, oh, I've got all these things hanging over me that I can really just know that, oh, I can get to those in the afternoon. Right now, I'm feeling the maybe I'll feel freer if I just get those things done and then I can go in the studio but the mornings are quiet like even the animals are just quieter in the morning after they've been fed and walked and done all their business and that's what I want and need whether I'm filming or actually painting so that's what we're gonna try and I've only had one day of it so far because we had holiday stuff and then I had one full day which was Monday with my new work schedule and I did get in the office by 8 30 and actually didn't have a ton to do in the afternoon or actually I put a lot of things to the side and just figured since I was off so long for the holidays I would just be all day in the studio and it was wonderful and I'm glad that I did because then the next day I had unexpected surgery once you know I'm back to it then that's hopefully the new schedule which I'm so excited about and I think it's going to be a real game changer and it really frees me up too like mentally and just the way I feel about it knowing that Grady is supportive of it and behind me it's just is huge also as far as like my painting only birds what I have done is just kind of 
I don't know if y'all make little rules like this for yourself, but I have allowed, I've decided that I am going to give myself the freedom in my sketchbooks to do whatever I want. I, um, even though I am still doing a lot of birds in my sketchbook, I want to really let that be my main subject this year. But guys, I love objects. I mean, I will be at the grocery store, you know, picking out the fruit and I'm like, Oh, the stem on that pear. Oh, I want to sketch it. Oh, I miss painting those. Or I'll be, you know, looking in the fridge for something and there's something about the way a jar and the light. I don't know. Just objects. I do love still life, but I've also been still hunting my skills with sketching people. So while I'm laid up on the couch, I've been pulling up a lot of pictures and just practicing sketching figures. But I am just allowing myself some freedom in my sketchbooks and then only with my serious oil painting am I doing birds and big birds. I'm not a big resolution kind of person. I'm more of like, let's look at things, assess things, see where things need to change, where things need to improve. Last year I wrote down, I had goals for things like applying to a bunch of stuff, which I didn't get into anything that I applied for, but that was okay. Just the process of applying and like doing it was really good. And though it can be discouraging not to get in, it was encouraging for me just to do it and to look back. I'd made a list of all the things that I applied to and submitted my work to and that was really encouraging rewarding and so I have new goals and things that I want to work on this year and I wanted to just share those things with you guys yeah I'm excited and I'm also gonna be here on YouTube I love doing these videos too much uh, so let me know if there's anything specific you want from this channel for this year I am working on two videos in the works one of the things I've been hearing from you guys a lot of intimidation with oil paint. A lot of you guys work in other mediums but are intimidated by oil painting so I'm working on a video right now. Basically it's going to be how to get started in oils. All the basics, everything you need to do to like do it to get into oils and to understand all the things that encompass it because I totally get the intimidation factor. I had somebody lay all that stuff out for me one time and I was like all right I got it I can do this thing and I've fallen in love with the oils I've never turned back. The other video I'm working on I had a request from one of you guys to share some more of like how I paint birds so I'm gonna do a video on how I approach thinking about birds how the pitfalls of when you first start drawing or painting birds, some of the things that can go wrong with them, how I do it, and we'll just talk about that. And I'll show you some of my process, so that's another video that's in the works. And then of course I'll just be doing my normal like studio vlogs and all that. So Grady just ran some errands for me, for us, and um, I have been off my foot, or like I need to be having my foot propped up on the couch because it gets swollen, like it swells when I'm off of it too long and my time has been a little long here. So I'm gonna go prop my foot up. I wanted to also share with you guys a package I got from one of you guys. She sent me the sweetest package. But I got something really fun in the mail from uh, a friend of mine that I've made online, a wonderful sheet. I'm gonna put a link to her YouTube channel below, but she makes handmade things and she sent me a card. I wanted to wait till I had the camera going before I opened it. Oh, oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, so she hand makes this stuff and she does really great vlogs too. I hope you'll go check out her channel, guys. Oh, she sent me the favorite, my favorite one. Okay, I'm so excited, okay. Okay, how precious is that? Hello, Sandy, I'm so happy to be writing you an old fashioned piece of snail mail. After connecting through YouTube, I'm really glad to have found your channel and your art. Your videos are so fun and your art lovely. Thank you so much for your encouragement on my own fledgling art channel. Hey girl, mine's fledgling too. I think it's these connections and interactions that make sharing online so rewarding. Wishing you a lovely and peaceful Christmas and happy new year. Best. Oh, so sweet guys. I'm dying. This is so cute. I'm definitely putting this up in my studio. I think this is a print of one of her cards. P.S. I hope you like my veggie soup postcard. I added it because I remembered you commented about it on my video. Happy and healthy eating in the new year. Oh my gosh. It's collage and oh my gosh. It's so stinky. Let me take it out of the cellophane. Okay, I'm going to put this up in my studio. Look how cute. I love it. So thanks y'all. Thanks for all your love, for just 
taking time to watch these videos, all your encouragement. I really appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to this new year with you guys. All right. See y'all. Bye.